There's not a whole lot you can do when stuck in space, as two stranded astronauts are fast finding out. But thanks to a bunch of Aussie scientists, Butch and Sunni have a new mission to keep them occupied as they wait to be rescued. A mushroom mission that could hold the key to building life on Mars and beyond. Hand look at what it is like to be stuck in space. Butch Wilmore and Sunny NASA Williams says Robinson. the two American astronauts who are stuck on the International Space Station could be in orbit. Butch Williams for have been stuck months. on the International Space Station for more than a month now. A week long mission that will become an eight month stay aboard the International Space Station. We've been thoroughly busy up here, integrated right into the crew. 400 kilometres away, back on Earth, the rockets packed with supplies for the pair, alongside mushrooms, yes, mushrooms, sent from Melbourne's Swinburne University. What was really exciting is when our payload was launched on the NG21 rocket, it was packed inside that capsule with some of the clothes that are being sent up for uh, Butch and Sunny, who are the uh, Boeing Starliner astronauts. Swinburne astrophysicist Dr Sarah Webb is leading a study into growing the fungi in space. One is we want to be able to grow food in space eventually and mushrooms are a fantastic nutritional source. Her other mission, using the mushrooms roots to build structures in a far away galaxy. You could use them as building materials in the future and if we ever do go off world, say to the moon or Mars, we're going to need to get creative with how we build things. So a huge problem with space is just how expensive it is and how limited you are with moving materials from one place to another. And here's how it could work. So one possible way is you have a mushroom farm on the surface of, say, the moon or Mars, and what you would do is grow a large network of mushrooms, get fruiting bodies that you could then eat for nutrition, and then with the leftover network, compact it down and use that potentially as the building block. Dr Webbs had some help from senior students from Halebury College who designed the mushroom mission. Jessie and Tana are in Year 11. I've been really interested in space for a long while, so I think being able to actually, you know, contribute to um, the investigation of science and space, I think that was kind of a dream come true. Hopefully one day we'd get to have a little colony on Mars and potentially all over the galaxy. So mushrooms grow from a, a fungal network uh, and we call it mycelium before it develops that fruiting body which is the mushroom that you'll often eat on your plate. So that mycelium network is really the key to growing healthy mushrooms and we've got that currently in space. Vials of the mushroom's roots, or mycelium, were transported to the US and loaded onto a cargo craft with other science experiments from around the world. Now, science is the prime focus for crews living and working on the station. And Finally, blast off. Three, two, one. I managed to stay up until like 1, 1.30 in the morning to watch it launch, and it was just so amazing. Cygnus deploy confirmed. And there you have it, a successful spacecraft separation. The Cygnus spacecraft is now on its way to the International Space Station and, as mentioned, is expected to arrive about 40 hours from now. After a mammoth journey, the mushrooms arrived. And while they were carefully taken straight to storage on board the International Space Station, here's the stranded Boeing crew helping with other experiments sent from Earth. The beginnings of the mushrooms will arrive back in Australia in the coming weeks. They'll then be brought to this lab and fully grown before being compared with mushrooms that have never left the Earth. These students have just begun a new experiment on herbs which will eventually be sent into orbit too. I think in the next you know, couple of decades, we're going to start seeing something called biomanufacturing in space, potentially for both food uh, and even medicines. And while it's still a very early field, I'm quite excited for the day that I can have a space mushroom on my plate. Yeah, I can think of many things I'd rather have on my plate than a space mushroom.